The double subject, it is the topic of the video lesson today. What was wrong with that previous sentence I just said? Well, it's using the error of the double subject. So what is the double subject and how can we fix it? The double subject is when the subject of a sentence has a personal subject pronoun following that initial subject in that clause or sentence. What do we mean by a personal subject pronoun following another subject? Well, the personal subject pronouns are pronouns used as subjects in the sentence. And examples of that would be I, you, he, she, we, they, and it. Oh yes, it can be a personal subject pronoun. How can it refer to a person? Well, you do it all the time. When a baby is born, you ask, is it a boy or a girl, right? So it can be and is considered a personal pronoun because of situations like that. So how do you fix the double subject error? Well, you simply take out the personal subject pronoun that follows the initial subject in that clause or sentence and you have fixed the sentence. So let's go back to the original sentence. The double subject, it is the topic of the video lesson today. Double subject is the subject, but it is the topic of the video lesson today is also the subject, it. To fix the double subject error, simply take out the personal pronoun, it, following the first or initial subject, and you have fixed the sentence. You simply have to write the sentence as, the double subject is the topic of the video lesson today. Let's do a few more sentences just to recognize the double subject error and then how to fix it. My cat, it had kittens. My cat is a subject, it is the subject. To fix it, take out the personal subject pronoun it and you now have a correct sentence. My cat had kittens. But there is another rule that you need to remember that personal subject pronoun doesn't have to be directly next to the initial subject. It can be repeated later on in the sentence with some words separating the first subject from the personal subject pronoun. It's still a double subject error. So let me give you an example of that. The Hawaiian island that I like best, it's Maui. So let's take a look at the double subject error. The Hawaiian island is the subject and it's Maui, it is Maui. It is also a subject. So the Hawaiian island, it's. Now that is separated by the words that I like best. There's two subjects in there. The initial one, Hawaiian island, and then the double subject error, it's, it is Maui. To fix that, all you do is take out the personal subject pronoun. The Hawaiian island that I like best is Maui. So once again, the personal subject pronoun that repeats the initial subject does not have to be directly after the first subject. It can come later in the sentence. If it needlessly repeats that subject again through a personal subject pronoun, you have to take it out to correct your sentence. So now let's take a look at a few sample sentences to see if you can recognize the double subject error in the sentence. Here we go. My mom, she will pick me up from school. My mom, she, there's the double subject error. Take out she, the personal subject pronoun, and you have a correct sentence. So now it should read, my mom will pick me up from school. Second sentence. Chimpanzees, they can be very dangerous. Chimpanzees is the subject and they is the subject. There's your double subject error with the personal subject pronoun they following chimpanzees. To fix a sentence, simply take out the personal subject pronoun. So now it should read correctly, chimpanzees can be very dangerous. The computer that I thought I had lost it was actually in my suitcase. 
Okay, the double subject error is the computer and it. The computer it was actually in my suitcase. Even though it is separated from the computer with that clause that I thought I had lost, it's still a double subject error. Simply take out the personal pronoun it. So now it should read correctly. The computer that I thought I had lost was actually in my suitcase. Easy. My friends whom I love, they always support me. My friends is the subject, they is the subject and always support me. Notice that friends subject and they subject is separated by whom I love as well, but it's still the double subject problem. So to fix that, take out the personal subject pronoun and it will correctly now read, my friends whom I love always support me. Sue and I, we walk to school together every day. Sue and I are the subjects and we is the subject. There's your double subject problem. Take out the personal subject pronoun and you have a correct sentence. Sue and I walk to school together every day. So to summarize everything, always remove any personal subject pronoun following the initial subject of the sentence or clause. That way you avoid the double subject error. This video, it's about to end. No, that's not right. That was a double subject error. This video is about to end. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the double subject error. I really appreciate it.